let me ask you this question. First of all, because elections are all about momentum and right. a tremendous amount of momentum was lost because of the coronavirus closures, et cetera, how anxious were you to get back into the rallies? Well, that's why I'm here, and the people want to do it. Uh, we had a lot of protesters that were nasty outside. The, I think the police did a very good job, mm -hmm. but you had a lot of nasty protesters throwing things and screaming. They're, they're disgraceful. They're a disgrace to our country. And, you know, that's the game they want to play. Uh, we are, uh, you know, I think we're going to do really well. The campaign's starting. These folks that showed up tonight, they're amazing people. Yeah. You know, uh, the campaign has taken all precautions against right. COVID, face masks, right. et cetera, et cetera. But, but there, there is a risk because if suddenly there's an outbreak, yeah. your people are going to say, ah, he held the rally, look what happened. Well, there is a risk, but there's also something a tiny little percentage have a big problem with it. You understand mm -hmm. that and you build up immunity, and we have to get our country back. We can't keep doing this. We could stay out for five years. I'm sure that would make China very happy. We could stay out for a long period of time, but we can't keep doing this, John. We have to get going. We have to get our country back. How much momentum do you think has been lost in terms of the campaign in the last Tremendous, three months? Uh, tremendous momentum. Uh, we were leading in every way, and then when uh, the plague came in from China, a lot was lost, you know, a lot. We have been sitting around for three months, three and a half months. And uh, nobody blames me for what happened. In fact, we did a great job. I, I called it very early in January, late January. Uh, we called it. We banned people coming in from China sure. because of the infection. But uh, a lot of momentum's lost. You know, all of a sudden you go from campaigning. We had it going. We were, you know that better than anybody. Yeah. All of a sudden we're sitting around. We're sitting at the White House for three months without leaving. And it's a tough, it's a tough thing because we had momentum. They had no momentum going. I mean, Biden's still in the basement. He hasn't left the basement. So how much urgency did you feel to try to recapture that momentum and get the numbers back up again? Well, there is an urgency. We have to do rallies. We have to, that's what we do well. Nobody's ever done them like this. And uh, then we were greeted with all of these uh, wise guys and uh, they call them protesters. They're not protesters. They're agitators mm -hmm. and they're, anarchists and, you know, they wear the black, they think they're hot stuff, uh, and uh, they're nothing, they're nothing. But, you know, you're greeted and they're screaming at people and they're mm -hmm. throwing things and uh, people, rightfully, they say, let's, let's go, let's come back another time. Sure. It's a disgrace and law enforcement has to get very tough because, you know what, a country has to get back to work. We've been, they've been protesting now. And these protests are all paid. You see the signs. They're all made, many of them, most of them are made in a printing shop. Real protesters don't go to printing shops, okay? They're paid for. Uh, so I, I, think that, uh, I think that we're going to get it back pretty quickly. But I will tell you, we're fighting, uh, we're fighting really a movement. And it's not a movement even that votes. We have the votes. We have everything. But what, what's gone on and what I watch and I see all the time and I've been watching for the last three weeks is a disgrace. I see them pulling down monuments. They don't even know who, which monument it is for the most part. They're pulling them down. They pulled one down to Gandhi in different places, different countries even. But they pulled of Gandhi. Only one who was peace, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? Let's, let's so talk it's, a, it's a terrible situation. Let's talk about some of the other pressing issues of the day. Uh, DACA. Are you going to give that another try, or is that well, done for this year? I mean, you know, I, I kept hearing about DACA. Well, we actually won, except they want us to refile if we want to win. So we'll refile, and it's going to work out for DACA. Will you refile? Yeah, we're going to refile, because Did, basically we be, won. Before the end of this year? You know, I mean, I heard the fake news say we didn't. We won on DACA. Okay, but this, but is, this, this will be a big piece of news. Will you refile on DACA before the election? I will. Ho and I hope we can go directly to the Supreme Court. Maybe we can't. But if you read the opinion, we won, but we have to refile. And everything's going to work out for DACA and the young people who aren't so young, if you want to know the truth. You so, understand that. So again, they're you, like your age. Yeah. So again, you will refile, yeah, we're going to, refile. to dismantle DACA before We're going to refile the probably pretty soon. That is a big piece of news. Well, congratulations. You should get a raise, <laughs> I guess. You know who to talk to about that. Um, visas, H-1B visas, H-2B yeah. visas, L-1s. J-1s, we hear that you're going to do something yeah. on this very well, we're soon. Very tight what are you on going it. to do? We're very tight on it. We have plenty of people looking for jobs. It's going rapidly. You know, we set a record last month in the history of our country. We did a better job than they've ever done on jobs. The country's coming back. It's coming back very, very fast. 
but we're going to be announcing something tomorrow or the next day on the visas, and I think it's going to make a lot of people very happy, and it's common sense, I mean, to be honest with you. It's Give us a preview. Sense. What will you well, be Well, no preview other than people are going to be happy. We have unemployment. We were at less than 3.5 percent. All of a sudden, we had to close the country. Mm -hmm. By the way, if we didn't do that, we would have had, John, we would have had, I would say, probably 4 million deaths, 3 million deaths, 2 million deaths, as opposed to maybe it will end up at 150, maybe somewhat more. That's a horrible number. There's no good number all over the world. People are dying because of the Chinese plague all over the world. I, I'm, hearing no good. That, I'm hearing that with these visa restrictions, there may be some exclusions? Uh, very little. In some cases, you have to have exclusions. You need them for big businesses where they have certain people that have been coming in for a long time. But very little exclusion, and they're pretty tight, and we may even go very tight for a period of time. Big news today was on Jeffrey Bourbon, who is now the former U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York. The Attorney General says he asked you to fire Berman. Why did you want to fire Berman? Uh, I really go by our very talented and very good, really very good and very He's a very kind-hearted man and a very fair man, Attorney General Bill Barr. And if he wants to do something, I've done that. I've done that with the investigation of Comey and all of these people. I don't get involved. I just don't get involved. But the president has to sign a document or, I guess, give it the okay. And he wants to run his operation, and that's okay with me. D did he say why he wanted to fire him, or did he we just spent say, very I little want time, to? We spent very little time talking about it, but I have a lot of respect for Attorney General Barr. He's run a great operation, and I think you'll see that even more so over the next com over the coming months. Because you know what the talk is about Berman. He was investigating Giuliani, investigating Cohen. He's investigating well, Hall Bank. Know. Get him out of there. I mean, not investigating me. Uh, and I don't even know about Giuliani being investigated. You're telling me that. I read that over the last day. But I don't know about Rudy Giuliani being investigated. Investigated for what? He was the greatest crime fighter of our generation, of our time. And now he's under investigation. I, I did not know that. I know there were two gentlemen that were looked at, and I guess he knew them. But, you know, a lot of people know Rudy's a very honest man. I don't think Rudy's under investigation. But Bill wanted to do something, and I go along with him. We really let them run their department. Bill Barr's done a fantastic job and continues to do a fantastic job. On the way out of the back of the White House today, you said you thought that John Bolton would not be able to keep any of the money from no, his, I don't think his so. book. What is the basis for that? Well, he had a very bad opinion. I mean, this, the judge was fantastic. Now, the judge ruled, look, the book is already out. What can I do? And he's right. I mean, the book is out. Mm -hmm. I would say, I would have said even a week ago, pull it back, because you probably had your copy. Everybody, he leaked it, and he gave it. Did a very bad thing. It's really treasonous, okay, what he did. But the book is out, but what he said about the money is that essentially it should come back to us. And very importantly, I think most importantly, uh, look about look at the classified information. He released massive amounts of classified and and confidential, but classified information. That's illegal, and you go to jail for that. And he should have known that. You go to jail for that. I think some of it was classified by him. So let me ask you this last question about John Bolton. He was a guy who you really liked. You really seemed. Well, to I didn't know him, but but I yeah. liked the point of view. If, if, if I if I could, yeah, go ahead. Back before he joined the White House, the two of you seemed to get along. You seemed to have the same point of view. Turns out that the whole thing's a disaster. What happened? Well, what happened is he shouldn't have written a book. Okay, you don't do that, and you don't do a book with classified information and end up going to jail over it. When he talked about the Libyan model on To Face the Nation. He was being interviewed on To Face the Nation, one of your friendly shows, and he talked about the Libyan model on Kim Jong-un, who I have a very good relationship with and had a very good relationship with. Once he mentioned that, it was not a good situation. I said, how stupid can you be? Because you know what happened to Gaddafi. Nobody wants to die the way he died. And here's a guy saying, we like the Libyan model. And all I could do is hope that they didn't see it, but they did see it. It was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen on television, frankly. So he lost me. Then I said to him another question. I said, so let me ask you, John, you were a big hawk 18, 19 years ago. You were pushing very hard that the administration, previous, goes into Iraq. How do you feel about it now after spending $8 trillion, millions of lives if you go both sides, the Middle East inflamed, 
do you think it was good or bad? He said, I think it was good. I said, this guy's not a smart guy. And those two things, the Libyan model, think of it. Think of what that means. The Libyan model and also that going into Iraq was a good thing. Going into Iraq was very bad. The worst decision made in the history of our country was going into the Middle East. Yeah. So, so what Just you so you understand, $8 trillion, thousands and thousands of lives on our side, but millions of lives. I count both sides. Yeah. So it was a horrible decision, the worst we've ever made. And he still thinks it's good. I, I know you got to so go. Something. And we I, had other things. I know you got to go, but what do you think should happen to Bolton now? Well, he released classified information. I know a young sailor who gave a lot less classified information and not very on an old submarine, and I guess he went to jail. Should Bolton and go I to know jail? other people. Uh, I'm not going to say, but I would say he's in big trouble. And if you read the judge's opinion, I thought the judge was outstanding. And by the way, he, he would have, in my opinion, if you read it, he would have stopped the book if we knew he was going to do the book. If he should have said, given a date, but all of a sudden he released it. What the judge would have done, in my opinion, is stop the book if we were there a month earlier. But he didn't. Now I think John is going to pay all that money back. I hope he makes a lot. He's going to pay all that money back to the United States taxpayer. And the judge said that's what should happen. You'll seek restitution? Well, wait a minute. Of course I — the judge said that's what should happen. The judge essentially said he was guilty. And also, much more importantly, classified information. He should go to jail for that for many, many years. I don't know what's going to happen. And it's up to the Justice Department. But I can tell you, they're not happy. Mr. President, thank you so much thank for spending your time. Thank you very much. Time. Thank you, John. Good luck out there tonight. Oh, it'll be fun. Thank you. All thank right. you very much. Good to see you.